President Emmanuel Macron has shocked France by announcing a snap parliamentary election after his alliance suffered a big defeat by the populist right in European Union elections. Mr Macron said he couldn't ignore the result and dissolving parliament was an act of trust in the French people. The National Rally Party, led by Marine Le Pen, is on course to win a record 32% of the vote in the elections for the European Parliament. That's more than double the coalition which supports President Macron. And so he responded by calling the unexpected snap election. Yes, the far right is both the result of the impoverishment of the French and the downgrading of our country. So, at the end of this day, I cannot act as if nothing had happened. Added to this situation is a fever which has gripped public and parliamentary debate in our country in recent years. A disorder which, I know, worries you, sometimes shocks you, and to which I do not intend to give in. However, today, the challenges that present themselves to us, whether external dangers, climate change and its consequences, or threats to our own cohesion, these challenges require clarity in our debates. Ambition for the country and respect for every French person. This is why, after having carried out the consultations provided for in Article 12 of our Constitution, I decided to put back in your hands the choice of our parliamentary future by the vote. Well, for the French far right, the result is one to celebrate. Here's Marine Le Pen. The French have spoken and this historic election shows that when the people vote, the people win. By giving more than 32 percent to the national rally, the French have just given us the highest score. All parties combine in 40 years. It's a real emotion to see this beautiful popular force rising up throughout the country. Well, that was Marine Le Pen and the fallout in France. But elsewhere in Europe, voters snubbed the governing parties of Germany, Spain and Belgium. Results show that overall the centre parties will be the largest bloc in the European Parliament. Here's the president, Roberto Mazzola. In this parliament, it doesn't work with a government and an opposition. It works with majorities. We can see that the constructive pro-European centre has held and it is that centre that will be projected to build uh, on the European projects that we need to work with. Well, the president of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, has described the results across the EU as a victory for the centre. Now, this election has given us two messages. First, there remains a majority in the centre for a strong Europe. And that is crucial for stability. In other words, the center is holding. But it is also true that the extremes on the left and on the right have gained support. And this is why the result comes with great responsibility for the parties in the center. Well, now let's listen to some more reaction uh, from Kanta. Uh, there was certainly an expectation that uh, the that Europe would be moving rightwards. And after all, there are a growing number of governments that are in alliance with the far right nationally. And so in many ways, the result that we saw uh, on Sunday was sort of a confirmation of that. Now, I mean, as your uh, previous reporter, as the reporter said, it does look like the center will hold. However, the center of gravity uh, of the European Parliament has most certainly moved rightward. That was James Cantor, the host of the EU Scream podcast. Well, let's go to our Europe correspondent, Nick Beek, next, uh, who can talk through some of this with us. Nick, it's good to have you. Uh, the French newspaper Le Monde is reporting that much of Macron's own camp didn't know he was going to make this decision. How much has this taken the country by surprise? Good morning, Asda. Yeah, it's a huge political bombshell in France. President Macron last night doing this TV address and he said that he simply couldn't ignore the fact that so many people had voted for the far-right party for the national rally of Marine Le Pen. In fact, they got double the number of 
votes than his own centrist party. So he says he's calling elections. They'll take place the first round just in three weeks' time. And he's taking a massive gamble here. Last night, President Macron said that to be French is to write history, not to be governed by it. But it could well be that we find out in less than a month's time he's made a, an historic, monumental error. Having said that, it could be that he's taking the best possible course of action in the circumstance in which he finds himself, in that the far right have surged in France, and maybe, maybe he's thinking that these elections for this place, the European Parliament, don't necessarily, necessarily translate into votes in the French national election and maybe there is the will and the capacity to build a coalition to keep out the far right in France even if they top the polls. That's really interesting and picking up on your point about how this would translate in the uh, national French national elections the rational uh, the the uh, RN has had a real makeover hasn't it. Uh, so compared to its origin story how are they generally viewed and how is Marine Le Pen viewed in France? Well, certainly the, the far-right party in France has won the last three uh, European elections in terms of the, the vote in France. So that is not new. I think the, the extent to which they trounced President Macron's party yesterday was new. And they will, sim will, will certainly be hoping that they're on the crest of a wave here and can consolidate this success in the, the national elections. Yes, certainly Marine Le Pen uh, has tried to change the image of this party, to detoxify it, as some may say. Of course, it was her father who, for many people, was seen as the unacceptable face of France. Even though they were picking up, uh, picking up votes some 20, 30 years ago, there was always this alliance against them. But in the past couple of years, they've used very savvy marketing and other sort of PR tools at their disposal. They've been big on TikTok. They've got a 28-year-old leader now leading uh, the party. And they seem to be picking up the youth vote, which has been an interesting dynamic. So rather than talk about, as President Macron has, about the, the stability of Europe and geopolitical matters, and it's clear that he is someone who, who likes that uh, role that he takes on the global stage, the, the National Rally have been talking about making lives better for, for younger people, the cost of living crisis, as they call it, and all that sort of stuff, trying to, to paint this positive vision of France. All right, Nick, thank you for that. And uh, if you're interested in more about the results of the European elections, there is plenty more on our BBC News uh, website and app. And we will continue to hear from Nick uh, throughout the day.